one thing that a lot of us don't realize that we do not see for ourselves. And this is something that you don't really know unless you are aware of this vibration or this um, way of thinking or this being. Um, it's your standard. What is your standard you have for your life? And all of the professional people that I know of, um, athletes and different people, you know, that are successful in whatever they've drawn out to create. What I realized and what, and then listening to my mentor, who's Tony Robbins and Dean Graziosi are two of them. And then there's Brian Finale. It's also another one of my mentors. So what I've learned so much about, and I want to share with you today because this is a little thing that has a tendency to, if you don't know it, you don't even know that you are not working on yourself so much. And that could be, I'm not saying it is, I'm just saying it could be a reason why you are not getting to the level you want. You're not, maybe you're not a rank advancing or you're not being you know that person that you want to be is because of this simple step that it can be very hard to do and it's very eye-opening when you do do this so listen up and get to the end of this video that we're going to have here for you today this training because as you know the good stuff is always at the end of any presentation that anyone does the good stuff is always at the end i don't know why that is probably because we're summing it up right so the thing is, is what is your standard in life? And to break it down, what is your discipline? What are you disciplined to do? This is for you, nobody else. This is all about you. And what is your drive? What drive do you have to get where you want to go, to be that person, to have what that person has? And then, what is your commitment to you? You have to be committed 100% to what you want to create, to the lifestyle you want. You have to be committed in order for you to receive what you're striving to get. So when you look at and break it, when you break it down, I should say, that's a fumble, and you break it down, and you look and see, okay, what is my standard in life? So in any event that you're not having the success you desire, raise your standard. Become that person that you are striving to be. And like I said, athletes, anyone that has wanted to be successful, has wanted to be the best. You know, they all had to raise their standard of where they, from where they were, and it's not about your team. It's about you. It's not about the people around you. It's about you. So when you do this, and it's be the best you can be, again, write it down, put it out there. And this is how you will become who you need to be by raising your standards. When you look at your discipline now, right this minute, what is your discipline that you have to create your lifestyle? What is the discipline you have? Do you consistently follow through on the goals you set for yourself? Are you consistently driving yourself to be better and to maybe work longer, to get to the end of the system you're working on, to do the course you're building, whatever you're working on? Do you have the drive to do that? And what is your commitment every day to what you've set for yourself to do? Nobody else can set your schedule for you but you. So what is your success that you are creating for yourself? So, and Henry Ford said, and I'm going to repeat this quote to you because it is really true. As you believe or don't believe, you're right. So whatever you believe or you don't believe, you are right. And that was a quote by Henry Ford. 
So everything you want and everything you desire is an emotion. Every single thing has an emotion attached to it. So if you were, let's just do an example, okay? If you are striving to, maybe you want to have a team. Let's let's have a let's do a hypothetical with a team, okay? If you want to have a team of people with you that are maybe under you or you know teammates or whatever you have going on with your opportunity, but you want a team. Okay, what kind of team do you want? And what is your standard? Your standard is, do you want people who are just looking for freebie handouts? That's one person. Are you looking for people for your team who are almost motivated to do it, but they need someone to push them along for you to be the leader, whatever? Okay, or number three is, do you want, this is a hypothetical, do you want people who are motivated, who are eager, who go get it, who have a standard of life that they live by every day to create and build their business? So this is a hypothetical, guys. I'm not saying you have this or don't have this. What kind of a team do you want? That is a standard. And that is an example of a standard. So as you're building your business, do you want customers who are eager to buy from you because they love what you have? They love, they like, know, and trust you? Do you want people who just want to look at your stuff and not really commit to buy it? Or do you want customers who are just actually browsing, you're just skimming the internet, they're not really committed to anything in life. What customer do you want to attract to your team, to your product? Again, that is a standard of life. And when you see, you see where I'm going with this, right? When you have a standard and you discipline yourself and you have a drive that's gonna take you to the next level, to the next level, to the next level of your own success, then you will find you are committed to you. And that's what it's about. It's about you being committed to you and raising your standards and becoming that person who, if you're not already, who will see that success, who will be that successful, who will go forward. And that's when you have to change your standard. And it's your standard of life. It's your standard of who you want to be, who you are. And you know, all the successful people, athletes, especially, I refer mostly to athletes with this because they have the most documented results as far as raising their standards. And that is to get to the next level, whether it's a basketball person or a golfer or they have to up their game, you know, like Tiger Woods, the, the golf person had to up his game to get to be the success that he is. Michael Jordan had to up his game to get to the success that he is. Tony Robbins, motivational, had to up his game to get to where he is. Eric Worre, another mentor, had to up his game as he went along, as he progressed. So all of these people have had to up their game. So my question for you, my love, is where do you fit in? Is your game where it needs to be? That means is your standard where it needs to be? If your standard is where it is, it needs to be, then you don't need any more motivation until you're ready to go to the next level. But you will have to up your standard from where you're at to where you want to be. Like example, if say you're making $100,000 a year and you're like, oh gosh, I'm, I'm comfortable, I'm happy, I don't ever need to make any more money. That's fine. You're fine where you're at, just keep going. But in the event that you want to say you need to make $200,000, $300,000 a year, $400,000, maybe a million dollars a year, you're going to have to up your standard, your life. Gonna, it's how you run your life. It's your discipline. 
it's your drive it's your commitment to you you're gonna have to up that ballpark you're gonna have to up it you are have to go to the next step and one thing it's remember it's all in motion when you're down low and you have not succeeded at what you're doing and you just feel like crying and you're just like, what am I doing? What am I doing? It's not working. It's not working. Number one, stop saying it's not working. Saying, okay, what do I need to do to up my game? What do I need to do to change my standard of life? What do I need to do? Ask the question, what do I need to do? And you'll be surprised how the answers will come you have to be consistent you have to be committed to you and who you are and don't forget to have a giving lifestyle when you give to people in need it's not just so oh well, I'm gonna give to this so I can get it back it's not what it's about it's about a feeling that you get that you're able to help so when you do this you're gonna find that it puts you in that vibration and that's what it's about. It's an emotion. So it's a measure of how I was able to help them. It makes me feel good to help someone that needs it. Right? So be happy in the present moment. And that's what it's about too. Because if you're not happy in the present moment, if you're not happy now, then I don't know what's going to get you happy. But you need to look at something that made you happy once and latch on to that emotion. And look at your standard of life and what you're doing and what you're not doing and make lists nothing hurts with the list I do it we all do it and that's the only thing you need to do is to be aware of what your standard is what is your discipline do you push yourself to go to the end do you push yourself to be that person do you push yourself to have success if you're not doing it then there's nothing anyone else can do, say, or even think about to motivate you if you're not motivating yourself first. Because if you can't motivate yourself, then you're not going to have the team you want. You're not going to have the lifestyle you want. And that is the cold, hard truth. And you know what? Some people will say, oh, I'm not listening to her anymore. She's just too honest. Yeah, so be it, right? Think about it. Okay, friends, take this to heart and... I look forward to hearing back from you and seeing what you're doing, what you're not doing. And I loved getting the messages on how great you're doing. There's so many of you that I have that listen that are just, they're crushing it all over the place. All over the place. It's amazing. Love it. So I do have a training up here for you. Get it and take advantage of these offers I'm letting you have. Well, actually, I shouldn't say letting you have. I'm offering to you. It is your standard of life if you take it or not take it so subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and you know what be the best you can be every day and be happy